Jen, is it live? It should just begin a discussion. It should just be, yeah, it should just be a post. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah. I'm going to read it. Does it bring me joy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, sounds a little um, strange, but it's a big thing right now. A lot of people are really into it. Oh, it's so. a big thing. My house could use it, though. It's inspiring to see people cleaning their closets. It really is. I've been in my closet. I need a lot of I did my here. closet last year, so it's not horrible. Oh, that's good. But I can always use work. Yes. Alright, let's see. We'll wait for people to hop on. Just let us know when you are on. Can you see it, Jen? It looks mm -hmm. like yeah. Oh, that's probably you. Is that you? Oh, somebody's on. How come I can't see it here? Let's see. Is that you? Okay, the non techy person. the music distracting? I can't. If, if I listen, then okay. Then you're going to turn it off. You're going to turn it off. Just in okay. case. Actually, I think too there are some copyright laws. Somebody. Oh, you're right. You're not allowed yes. to have music on or something. Yeah. For longer. They than... took some of my videos down because of that. Dang. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, so I don't do music of... anymore. Yeah. The powers be at Facebook. Okay. We don't want to make them mad, so <laughs> we're going to turn the music off. Hey, Don. Don jumped on there. I know some ladies from the group are going to be prepping with us. Okay, all right, we can get started. We've got a bunch of people on there. Um, thank you everybody for jumping on. I am Kelly and I have invited Christy to meal prep with me today because meal prepping is a whole lot more fun when yes. you do it with people. <laughs> and to do it alone, that's why we do workshops. Um, I'm also gonna be following along on my computer so if I'm looking over this way, sometimes you guys know what I'm doing. And then behind the scenes today, I have Jen. Hi Jen. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, she's hiding out behind the scenes today. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be prepping some meals. I just wanted to show everybody how uh, quick and easy it can be to prep your meals. I get questions all the time, like what exactly do you do in your meal prep workshops? Because um, I know some people get um, confused between, let's say, batch cooking and meal prepping, two different things. So we're going to actually take the recipes and we're going to make freezer meals. 
Um, and that's what we're going to do today. And it's really very quick and easy to do so that you can have the meals in your freezer ready to go on those really busy nights, mm -hmm. right? Because yes. I know, Christy, you've done... I've done several of your workshops and it takes, what, about two hours and you go home with... How many meals do you... Is it six? Six, mm -hmm. six meals. Six freezer meals, yeah. So that's not a lot of time yeah. to make six meals for the family. Plus two during that time, during the two hours, we were usually chatting with yes. everybody, and you know, it's a social thing too. It's not just about the meals. It's right. a good time. Maybe drinking a glass yeah. of wine. <laughs> <laughs> what you do, exactly. And you brought, you brought your mom a couple yes. of times, which I absolutely love. I love when mothers and daughters do it, and we've had moms bring even like their young kids. Um, I have a bunch of clients who do that. They'll bring their young daughter with them. So I love when we, you know, include the family in it. So and I brought my daughter too. That's right. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. She's vegetarian, right? She's vegan. She's vegan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's all in. She's all in. <laughs> Yeah, so the meals that we prep, the meals that are part of our workshops and our online course, they are whole food plant-based. So what does that mean? That means that there's no animal products in it. But you can absolutely prep these meals and use these meals if you eat meat. And I, I know you do. You I and you my husband. Eat. My and husband is a big meat eater, so I definitely have to add yeah. something for him. Yeah, and do you find it's easy to add the meat? Yes, very easy. Yeah. We try to make it. The meals are very flexible, so when you um, prep them at our workshops, or if you follow the recipes with our online uh, group, you can easily add meat to them. I always tell people chicken's a really easy mm -hmm. thing to add to a lot of the recipes. So they're very flexible. Um, they are allergen friendly so that there's none of the top allergens. So they're gonna be gluten free, dairy free. Most of them are soy free. I do offer up options if there is occasionally a um, gluten free soy sauce. Um, but yeah, we try to hit all the top allergens too. So if you're a mom with kids with food allergies, these meals are great for that too. So, um, do you want to let everybody know, let's see, let's get our recipes up here. Maybe you could let everybody know what so, we're prepping today. Let's see, today we are going to prep a butternut squash bisque, a burrito bowl, and a buffalo cauliflower dip, well, it is buffalo cauliflower dip stuffed potatoes. So those are the three recipes we're going to do today. Yeah. And Christy is a health coach, so she's really familiar with the kitchen. And so she's going to help out with tips along the way too, and you share your knowledge with us as we go along, definitely. Sure, sure. Um, for today, let me just make sure, so if you guys could post in the comments where you are from, uh, where you're watching from, we'd love that. And then any questions that you have as we go along, feel free to type them in there and I'll try to answer them as we go along as I'm prepping and Jen's going to let me know if questions pop up. If I don't get to your questions during the live, I'm going to go through them later today and I'll try to answer all of your questions. Um, I am right now putting on gloves because I am actually donating these meals um, to a woman in our community. So I just think it's appropriate that I wear gloves to prep her meals. Um, we, what we do with our membership area, I try to encourage um, the women in that uh, group to try to get the meals because here's the thing, if you're going to make a mess in your kitchen and you're going to get all the ingredients out, you're going to do the chopping, the dicing, the slicing, it's so easy to just double up and make another bag and donate. So included in the recipe bundles that we give in our membership area is a card each month and it's if you want to gift a meal so you can fill out that card and include it. We call it prepping it forward. So um, in this case, um, I'm going to just donate all three of the meals. So I think we will get started and I may not be able to scroll with my gloves on, but that's okay. okay. And right. I might need you to scroll this too. Okay. And Christy and I need to zoom in on the font. Yeah, because my eyes are not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one we're going to do is the, yeah, the butternut squash. Oops, sorry. This. So what you can do at home, <clears throat> get yourself any kind of a bowl, and you can put your Ziploc bag in it just to keep it steady so that your hand's free while you're prepping the meal. In this case, I have these containers that I use in my classes, um, but you can just use you can just use any old bowl. Uh, bowl. So I think some of the stuff might be on your side. Yes. So if you want to, um, another tip too is a lot of our recipes include onion. So what we do is um, buy our onion already diced. It saves you a ton of trouble. So here, go ahead. If you okay. want to do yours first, so just dump it in there. Yeah, exactly. Real easy. It's so much better than trying to cut up all of those um, and cry. And cry. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We used to do that early on with our classes. Yeah, well, you I remember? Some of those I wasn't. Classes. I wasn't. I, yeah, tears were coming. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and like for you know, we have thirteen people prepping in this kitchen, and then for hours later, like our eyes would just be like tearing yeah. the whole time. So finally, a client of mine said, "Hey, why don't you guys use pre-diced onions?" 
There you go. And where do you get your pre-diced onions? Uh, typically, Jen, where do we typically get the pre-diced onions? Uh, Kroger grocery store. Oh, Kroger. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I do see that now with Mintasm. Okay. A little more so. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, and then, okay, so garlic. I think you should have a garlic over there. I have the white bowl, what, the dump bucket that we oh, use. We're going to use that. Yeah. Here? I guess you could put it right up front here. So, um, people, when you when you do any of my recipes, you're going to find that garlic is a, a very important ingredient. We use it in all of our uh, all of our recipes. There's there's garlic. I'm one of those people now, that now I smash mine. Do you? Okay, yeah. You know what? I wanted to show everybody this really cool too. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess you haven't used one of these in the classes. No. Yet? Okay. So and you can do that with a knife. That's like that's perfect. how I usually do it. But yeah, that, yeah. That's so this cool. is a great tool. So this is what we use for the garlic. So basically, let me move the bowl so you guys can see. How's the view, Jen? Can you see the board? It's good. Awesome. Okay. So you're gonna take the clove of garlic and it still has the peel on it, and we're just gonna kind of lay it there and. Mm. And then the peel comes off. It will come off a lot easier when you're not wearing gloves. So. Okay. There you go. Let, oh, let me try your tool. Yeah. You so have one right there. Oh, I do. Yeah. So how, okay. Did you do it like this or this? Nope. Like, like this? that. And, and then, then just smash it. Just smash it. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it should, you might have to smash it hard. Put some oil behind there. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Hey, and then I you take I it off. And then this is sharp. So you can then oh. chop it. Look. Oh, my goodness. You can Where just get that tool. Dice it. Um, I think I got it on Amazon. There's a link on my website, I so like you can that. check that out. And then you can just scrape it right into your bucket. I think I'm off camera there, so let me. Okay. So you can also use it as a scraper. Okay. But if you don't have this nifty tool, you can just use a knife. One thing I do want to say about the knife, and you're good, is um, you never want to scrape the cutting board with the sharp edge of the knife. So if you're going to scoop up anything mm -hmm. from your cutting board, you're gonna dull your blade. You're also gonna chance cutting yourself. So you wanna flip the knife over, use the back end if you're gonna use it to scoop anything up. Um, but it will definitely dull your blade faster. So if you are not local to Richmond, Virginia, you do not know that, which is where we are, by the way, for those of you that don't know where we are, we're right outside Richmond, Virginia. And um, if you've never been to Richmond or lived in Richmond, you don't realize they close schools yes. or delay schools at the thought that yes. it might snow. <laughs> so today we had a two hour delay. Um, so we got thought I was hoping it wouldn't affect and it didn't. I'm glad they didn't cancel time. schools. I know. I and then we woke up and there's no snow. Right, right. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't even call it a dusting. I know, it a dusting? barely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, not yeah. much at all. And so, a uh, small little side thing. Christy and I are both from New York, which we didn't yes. realize until you came to a class, mm -hmm. and I guess we made that connection. Yes. That we both grew up like maybe forty-five minutes. That's why snow doesn't affect me. I know. So it was funny when I moved down here that people we, they close. They, yeah. Richmond closes everything at the slightest hint yes. of any kind of snow <laughs> or ice. It is kind of funny. Um, okay. So we've got the garlic, and then the next thing would be the spices. So typically what you can do is you can take your spices and you can put them right in the bag. You can freeze your spices too. In this case, what I've done, because I'm donating these meals, I've got the spices in a separate bag, and I'm gonna include that with their meal so that the person who these meals are going to, they can decide how much spice that they wanna use. But this particular recipe for our butternut squash bisque uses cumin, which I can smell right now. Doesn't it smell I can so smell good? it, it smells really good. I know, curry powder, mm -hmm. cayenne pepper, and salt. So, um, but I'm gonna keep that separate. But again, feel free, you can put it right in your in your bag. Oh, I can scroll, I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. Okay, when you're prepping meals, another suggestion, this is another tip, is you wanna keep, because a lot of times with your meals, there's items that aren't gonna actually get prepped. So in this case, we've got a can of coconut milk and we've got a box of veggie broth. So these items I recommend that you keep in your pantry and you keep them separate from your other items. Um, the reason for that is because these items are needed to complete the meal and if you um, have kids like I do, they're gonna probably use these items for something else. And then you're gonna go try to make that meal and you're not gonna have those items. So I always keep a brown paper bag in my pantry, we call it our pantry bag, and these items stay in there and my family knows don't use those items because I need them for meals. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna put these in our pantry bag. Christy, you have your pantry bag too? Yes. Um, the other thing for this particular recipe, 
calls for a butternut squash. So we got two different ways, you, well actually you got three, so I'm gonna tell you three different ways you can do this. So we've got the butternut squash like this, and you can keep that in your pantry until you're ready to make the meal, and then you can cook this up. If you wanna know four different ways to cook a butternut squash, or any kind of squash for that matter, I have a post on my website, on my blog, that goes through step-by-step, -step, four different ways that you can cook up any kind of a squash, so check that out. Um, so that, in this case, that's what Christy will do. What I did yesterday was, I cooked up my butternut squash yesterday, um, and I do mine in my Instant Pot. That's one of the directions on the website that you can check out. But this way, what I do is, then I put that in the Ziploc bag, and I can freeze this. So I can put this in with my meal bag in the freezer, and it's good to go for when I'm ready to cook this meal up, when I'm ready to make this soup. The other way, and I just realized this a couple weeks ago, I was in Whole Foods, and I'm sure other stores sell it too, you can buy butternut squash already cubed in the frozen food section, organic, oh, which is another thing I need to touch on. Um, so that's another great way. So if you don't want to buy a whole butternut squash and worry about cooking it up in enough time before it goes bad, you can just buy the cubes frozen and then use that in your recipe. Um, one thing I didn't touch on, we use all organic ingredients, and I highly recommend that you do the same. It's really the best way that we can avoid eating all the herbicides, the fungicides, the pesticides that they put on all of our food. So whenever you can, buy organic. So in this case, we are, um, everything here is organic. So yeah, so I'm gonna put this with my freezer bag. So I'm gonna leave this over here, and I'll put mine in my pantry bag, yes. How do you usually cook up your butternut squash? Um, you know, I do it different ways. Sometimes I do the crock pot, mm -hmm. and sometimes I do the oven, just depending on what's going on. Like, like what Jen was saying earlier is, Sometimes if I'm roasting vegetables or cooking something else in the oven, I'll stick the butternut squash in there also. But sometimes if I'm not doing that, I'll stick it in my crock pot. Yeah. I've never tried the Instant Pot. I oh should probably goodness. do that. Once you do use an Instant Pot, there's like no I don't going have spaghetti to squash. Okay. I don't know why I haven't oh. done it for butternut. Yeah. I, need yeah. to, I need to do that. What you might have to do with that one is cut it in half. Because it's so long. It's so long. long. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so long, so you might have to cut it in half to right. do it. But yeah, and True. I find that I don't use my slow cooker anymore. Because I, I still love my slow cooker. Do you? Yes, yeah. I do. I'm all about how fast can I get that meal right. on the table? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think for this particular recipe, that is it, what we what we prepped. So mm -hmm. basically at this point, this is a very small bag. This is not normally um, the amount, but this just happens to be a recipe that doesn't have a whole lot in the freezer bag. So that is one meal down. With my gloves on, it's hard to do my So that's one. What's the next one, Christy, that we're going to do? Let's see. The next one is the burrito bowl. Okay. So this has more. Yeah. This one has, um, here you go. This one has multiple bags. Okay. Which one do you, should I put in first? Let's see. Because there's two bags. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know why. Because one is for the rice. Okay. So we're going to have to add two cups of rice. So um, just use one for the rice and mm -hmm. one, and I'll get you another one and then you can put the two into a, into a plain bag. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We'll have to do it that way. Okay. So there you go. All right. Again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post them. Am I missing any questions, Jen? Um, yeah, people really like the garlic tool. They had a Robin Martin. Oh, hey Robin. And then Jennifer from Houston. Hey Jennifer from Houston. I love this garlic tool. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have a look for this. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Like oh, I said, it's, it's, on, my, it's on the website. Time. Oh, it's on your website. It's okay. I'm going to go look I'm for it. I'm not that. really sure what it's called. Okay. It's a garlic thing in the jam. Okay. So, there you go. There you go. It's on my <laughs> That's website. That's the official name. That's the official name, exactly. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm on a delay here. So I don't know who's, because my phone, we're using my phone to record. So, all right. So the next one here is the burrito bowl. So let's get this in here. Our pre chopped onions. There you go. Now, am I using the right bag? I'm using the rice bag. That's okay. Oh, does it say rice on it? Did I put rice? Was I not organized? Rice. I was, yeah. It doesn't matter. So she yeah, use this. Yeah, use that one then. I forgot. That's fine. Yeah, you use that one. That's fine. I totally forgot I did that. Okay. So, another thing that you want to do is you always want to make sure you're labeling your bags. So I was actually more organized than I realized, and I, and, I and I labeled them already. So just make sure you label it with the name of the recipe and then also the um, date that you are. And it's e much easier to label it before you put any ingredients in. Yes. Yeah. So. Didn't think of that. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I don't want to walk here. Yeah, that's over there. It's fine. Okay. Then we'll get our handy dandy garlic tool done. And you know the great thing about. Um, cooking your meals at home is that you have control over all of the ingredients. Actually, let's put this over here. 
Um, and that's really the best way to um, take back your health, really, from mm -hmm. corporations that, you know, sometimes we depend upon to feed us. Mm -hmm. It's uh, much better to get in your kitchen and cook your meals. Yes. Let me just take that little piece off. Well, and you just don't know everything that's in your food when you go out to eat. That's true. You know? That's so, true. Yeah. Even when you think it's healthy, it might have a lot of sodium. Oh, yeah. Sugar. Yeah, restaurants, you know, they, you don't have control over all the oil no. that they use or even what kind of oil they use. Right. Um, the salt content. That's right. You don't know. And then if you're, you know, if you're a family like our family where we have multiple food allergies, mm -hmm. so we always have to be concerned about cross-contamination. Right. So, um... Cooking, cooking your meals really is the best thing. And I hear people say all the time, well, I don't, um, I don't have the time or it's too expensive. And my answer to that is meal prep. Honestly, it really, planning and prepping ahead of time, most of your ingredients, it makes it so much easier. So just setting aside that time in your week to do that is I, I find it saves me money. Oh gosh, yeah. It's not more expensive, it saves me Absolutely. money. Absolutely it does. You're not eating out as often, right. you have a plan. So you're going to the store with a list, and so typically you will go to the store with a list and you buy what's on the list and very few extras. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but if I go to the store and I have no list, mm -hmm. I'm buying everything inside. Things we yeah. don't need, you probably don't need, and probably not always healthy. So. Well, and I can't go to the grocery store hungry. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster. It is. Don't go hungry. It <laughs> is, yep. Make sure you had something to eat before yep. you go in. It's true. But that's when I pick up the unhealthy stuff. Mm -hmm. You want me to put your corn in your bag? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then the tomatoes. So, um, Jen, you brought up a good point before too about the canned, um, the canned goods. We try to also buy canned goods, the cans that are like BPA free. Um, so that's um, always an option. That's a better option if you can find cans that are BPA free. And again, try to buy organic. Anytime I have something I teach my clients, and I know you're familiar with this because I'm, I'm pretty sure you do this as well. Anytime you're buying something in a can, a box, or a bag, always want to make sure that you know what all the ingredients are. You want to make sure there's no added oils, added sugars. Um, and Because if you don't know what the ingredient is, your body's not going to know what it is. And it's not going to know how to process it. So mm -hmm. I try to stick to five ingredients or less. Mm -hmm. And there's always exceptions to that. So like, um, I don't see it here. I must have moved it. My um, veggie broth obviously has more ingredients than that. But I know what all of the ingredients are. It's just basically the vegetables. Mm -hmm. So um, if you stick to that rule, that's a pretty good rule. You know, easy yes. rule to live by. Um, and just know, what's, know what you're eating. Know what the ingredients mm -hmm. are. Sometimes it's shocking when you look at the ingredients. Yes. You would think it's going to be something healthy, and then you turn it over, and it's like, whoa, mm -hmm. what is that? Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. So when you say make sure you tell them the meal you're making, and people are asking about, like, is this frozen corn? Oh, okay. oh, yes, yes, great question. So, yes, the corn is frozen corn. Actually, I think, Jen and I were talking before, it's one of our very few recipes that actually has corn. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. corn is a top allergen, so we typically don't include that in any of our recipes. But maybe one or two out of all yeah out of all and you can always leave it out like yeah. that's the beauty of cooking at home you have control over the ingredients mm -hmm. this particular one is, this is yeah. the burrito bowl the burrito bowl mm -hmm. yeah yep. and then after the tomatoes comes the spices and again i'm going to leave the spices out but for this particular recipe we are using chili powder oregano cumin cayenne pepper salt and black pepper mm -hmm. so this one's going to be a little spicy so this is a great recipe to leave it out and and add in at home while mm -hmm. you're um, while you're cooking the meal because mm -hmm. then you have control over the ingredients okay any other questions Jen? Am I missing anything? Okay. so the next okay so there are a couple of items for this um, recipe that are going to go in the pantry bag I'll go through that with you in one second. Um, here's a tip also, make sure you take out all the air mm -hmm. from the bags before you seal it up. This way it'll fit in your freezer. Okay, so we're almost done with another recipe. It's not fast. I know, and we're so talking fast. the whole time. So right. This is, and I'm explaining, so it's taking longer, but you could literally knock out these in 15 minutes. Yes. Be done. And I always recommend doubling up. So instead of prepping three meals, I would double up on the ingredients mm -hmm. because again, I'm making the mess in my kitchen. And either donate the meals or stick them in your freezer and you have mm -hmm. meals for a you know, week or two ahead or next month. Right. Um, okay, so in the pantry bag for this recipe, because again, it's not getting 
cooked um, at the same time is going to be an avocado. And here's a tip for you. If you guys want to know the best way to find out when you go to a grocery store if the avocado is fresh, you take uh, your two fingers, put them on top of the and the bottom of the avocado like this. You just squeeze it, and if there's a little bit of a give, that means that it is ready to go. If it's really hard and there is no give, most likely this color will be more green, so it's not really ripe yet. Um, tip, if you need to ripen an avocado faster, stick it in a brown paper bag with a banana. So the gases, the natural gases from the banana will um, ripen the avocado faster. There's nothing worse than... It's horrible. It's like, I hate spending oh. money on an avocado and then you cut into it and it's no good. I know. <laughs> or, you know, I'm like craving guacamole. Yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have some avocados in the fridge. And then I go to the fridge and... Yeah. I can't use them. So um, it's not going to ripen the avocados that quickly that I can make my guacamole the same day. But it'll speed up the process by a couple of days. Any yeah. tips on, on avocados that you have? No. 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 Okay. I love avocados. I love avocados. I, we eat it with everything. So this is going to go in the pantry bag for this recipe. And then the next thing we're going to do is the rice. I'm going to put my rice behind it. I think this is it. I just... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I see. see what you did. Okay. okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And I think this is about okay. body rice, but you can use any rice that you want. Here's the rice. So it's two cups of rice. Mm -hmm. You can actually store your rice in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, that's one cup. You can store your rice in the freezer. So this would go in that with that bag right into the freezer. Yeah, okay, thanks. And if you prefer a lower carb option, I know some people try to shy away from carbs, you can serve it over cauliflower rice. Um, I love cauliflower I know, rice. I know, it's so good. And you can get that anywhere now. I buy the bags at Trader Joe's. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Are they but in the freezer can, section? They're in the freezer section, but you know, you can find cauliflower rice now in the produce section and you can find it frozen. Yeah, so. Yeah, nowadays you can find it anywhere. Mm -hmm. I used to have to rice it myself and that was yeah. a chore. So thankfully you can buy it now. It's so much easier. It is, it is. <laughs> so yeah, so if you don't want rice, you can just, like I said, just serve it over um, cauliflower rice. And then I'm going to stick these. Do you have an extra bag for yours? Yes. Okay, good. And then we have this too. Oh yes, right? mm -hmm. the black the beans. Black beans. That's gonna go in your pantry bag, because that, again, um, will get added after you're done cooking the meal. Yeah, I store my rice in the freezer. I store our nuts in the freezer too. Yeah, uh, lentils. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I never thought about lentils. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're putting our rice in our other bag with the tomatoes and corn. Yeah, yeah. and you can put your spice bag in there too. Oh, put my spice bag in there. Okay. Okay. And then the black beans go in the bag. for this one. Okay. Okay. This is the buffalo cauliflower stuffed potatoes. Yes. You brought up a good point before. You do um, batch cooking a lot, you said. Yeah, I do more batch cooking versus meal prepping. So I do like, you know, a big batch of roasted vegetables or roasted chicken, and I'll just have different items that I can pull from mm -hmm. versus meal prepping. It's a great time saver. It to is. Batch, it really is. To batch cook. And then we save all of our veggie scraps. That's what we're doing here. We have a bowl of veggie scraps. And uh, you can do a bunch of different things. You, What we use it for is we make veggie broth. So easy to do. And you save a ton of money. And the recipe is on the website. I'll share a link later to that if you want to learn how to make your own veggie broth. Um, I have some clients who use it to feed their chicken. Mm. Um, they use all okay. the scraps to feed their chickens. Yeah. notice too, I think, well we haven't gotten to it yet, but when we get to the potato, I do not peel my vegetables. Um, mm -hmm. Because we buy organic, I would not recommend it if you're not buying organic, but because we buy organic, I don't peel the vegetables, and it's so much faster. Mm -hmm. So you can prep the meal. I mean, think about how much time it takes, like if you're going to do something with potatoes or carrots, and you have to peel I learned that from you, yeah. not to peel my
my carrots if they're yeah. organic. If they they're don't organic. Have to. Yeah, right. don't. Yeah, wash them. You just give them a good washing in the right. sink, and then um, yeah, and then you just keep the peels on them. Mm -hmm. um, it saves you so much time. Yeah. So these directions, we have to chop this really small. There's probably a faster way. If anybody knows a faster way to, to chop cauliflower, please share it with me. I have done it where, I, I mean, what, I don't do it today, but I've done it where you take the cauliflower, you take off the stem like mm -hmm. we just did, and then you put it in a towel. Okay. And you um, pound it, and it just all breaks apart. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have so to try that. So maybe try that sometime. I am going to have to try see that. See what you think. I've seen people do that with iceberg lettuce. Oh my god, I've never tried it with that. Slam it down okay. and then the, then that core comes out yes. and just pull the core out then real easily. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. At least someone's asking about your knives. Oh, okay, yeah. These are great. These are by um, Xylus and you can, on my website there's a tab at the top called shop. And you can go in there, there's a link to any of the knives that I recommend. And I will, after the video's over, uh, the live's over, I'll share, I'll post the link to that. But they're great. Here's a tip too, since we're talking about knives, glad somebody brought that up. Sometimes I'll see clients complain, maybe if they have carpal tunnel syndrome mm -hmm. or whatever, they don't have a strong wrist. Um, oftentimes I'll see people holding their knife like this when they cut, and that's mm -hmm. not the right way. What you want to do is you want to pinch the top, and I'm hoping that you guys can see this in the video. You kind of want to pinch the top of it and hold it on, on the actual top of the knife like that. And this will relieve pressure from your wrist. So again, if you're somebody who has mm -hmm. difficulty with your wrist when you find yourself chopping, because the action should come more from your shoulder, not your wrist. Mm -hmm. And that relieves it. Mm -hmm. And you also will, uh, less chance of yourself cutting yourself too. <laughs> Another knife tip. That's, that's great. Sabrina's here. Oh, hi. Oh, was somebody on there? Hey, hey. Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, hi, Sabrina. Hey, I haven't seen her in so long. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're doing See? well. <laughs> Sharp knives. You always want to make sure that your knives are sharp. More, more accidents happen. You're going to cut yourself more often with a dull blade than you will an actual sharp blade. So people think, oh, if the knife is sharp, I'll cut myself. No. Mm -mm. And I have to say, I, <laughs> I used to be really bad with knives. Well, I'm just, I just was never really a good cook, mm -hmm. and I've learned so much over the last three to five years. Yes. And so, yeah, having a sharp knife is really important. Yes. So how big are those cauliflower pieces? I was just going to say, how am I making these too small? So no, you, okay, so here's the thing. It doesn't matter how big or small, just okay. that it's even. So uh, if you start off, because you want it to cook evenly. Okay. So if you are making large pieces, just make sure that they are all cut large. Okay. If you're doing small, just make sure they're all cut small. Okay. So they're, they're even, evenly okay. cut. So okay. Because for this particular recipe, I don't have the thing in front of me, but it's it's a preference if you want to have it uh, large or small. Okay. That's good to know. Just make it consistent. That's good to know. Jen, you keeping me on track? <laughs> yeah, my husband is actually a better cook than I am. Is he really? He's just, he can, he doesn't have to follow a recipe. He um, just knows like what goes in a dish, like he'll say, oh, this would taste good in there and he'll throw it in. I can't do that. Right. I wish I could, but you know. Yep. It comes over time. I guess so. It comes over time. It's funny. I love hearing stories when people, um, like for you, I know you cook all the time now, so it's funny to hear that you weren't always like that. I've come that. a long way. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. Yes. When you have to, when your health is at stake or your kids' health, you learn, you learn how to do it. Exactly. You learn how to do it. That's right. It's a mom thing. It is. We do what we have to do. That's right. Yep. We were just talking about that this morning. Okay, and sriracha sauce. Okay, so again, you want to make sure that the, anything you're buying um, that's in a package is um, just the straight up ingredients that you know what it is. And I don't know about you, but I honestly feel that sriracha sauce should go on anything. <laughs> is there anything sriracha sauce that doesn't go on? I have a lot of friends that love sriracha sauce. Oh, love it. I'm actually going to use like more it than what this could call for. Actually, you know what? I forgot. I'm prepping these for somebody else. I'm just going to stick with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it too spicy. Don't make it too spicy. I have that problem. Oh, my clients know. Anybody who's ever done my workshops, yeah, I, I, I like spice. You do like spice. But, there was but I love spice. spice. Okay, well, that's good. But, but and, not and, times. and you can always adjust it. Yes. You know? Yes, you can always add more. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Sriracha. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's the first bag. And it's a good idea to just kind of massage the ingredients for something like this, just to make sure that it coats it evenly. Take the air out. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell I love sriracha sauce. 
so that is bag one. I'm not taking your bags, right? You have your bag. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not stealing yours. Yeah. want on the um, on the website I have a six steps to meal prepping it's like a six if you follow those six steps like a roadmap to meal prepping you will be able to do all of this yourself at home so you can go on the website I'll link it again when the when the live video is over um, but it's my six six step roadmap to meal prepping so feel free to download that it's really helpful okay so onions so half cup of onions mm -hmm. One clove of garlic. I'm uh huh. Like, Why? Why bother? <laughs> You're like that's not enough. That's not enough. No. How about three or four? Right. But again, I'm prepping this for somebody garlic else. Garlic is so, so good gonna... for you too. I know it is. So when we feel a cold coming on, what we'll do is we'll take fresh garlic mm -hmm. and we'll chop it up small enough, like this, let's say the size of a pill, and we'll mm -hmm. take it like a pill. Mm -hmm. so we'll put it in the back of the throat with some water, and um, it's yeah, garlic is really a great antiviral, antibacterial. And our house is never without it. Mm -hmm. Get your garlic I'm and the tool. Okay, I can still hear music in the background. You can't hear it. Can you? I don't think it's no. shutting us down. I, I, I hear heard it. that you can do it if it's like shorter clips than what, what, I'm the wrong thing. 15 seconds or something. I don't know. It's like, if somebody knows out there what the copyright laws are with music, I'd love to know. I just don't Actually, even, I don't even use it anymore because of what, because of them taking my videos down. Yeah. It made me they so are mad. Funny. <laughs> they are funny. Yes. Well, it's you know, frustrating if you do all that work and then they remove it. I know. So what awful thing did you do? Was it just music? It did was they music, tell you? just music, yeah. They said it was copyright. So, you know. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we're not doing that again. <laughs> we'll do like a montage of like yeah, okay. 10 seconds. So this meal is the buffalo cauliflower stuffed potatoes. Yes. So we already did the cauliflower part. Mm-hmm. With the, with the sriracha sauce. Yes. With the garlic. And again, because we're using organic, these we just give a good wash, but I don't actually peel them, and it saves you a whole lot of time. Another tip for you when you're cutting, let's say you take the potato like this and I've cut it, do not put it down on the rounded side like this and now mm -hmm. try to cut it, you have a greater chance of cutting yourself. So always place it down on the flat side like this. So how is it cut? Diced. Uh, diced. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, just you want to make sure it's evenly, you know, okay. sliced. So, okay. so it doesn't really matter how big or large. Or large, small or large, it's right. just, just have it uniform. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to try this one. I've never had this. Oh, this is one you haven't had. had. Yeah. This is a. Um, You're making the stuffing right now, right? Yes, we're making the stuffing right now. You know you're cutting the potato. Yes. Oh. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna have to wipe down this screen when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> There's stuff all over it. Looks like my teenager's computer screen. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so this here, what we do is, cause then we're going to blend it. So it really doesn't matter again, how big you slice it, be as long as it's even, cause you want it to cook evenly, but the, the, the end product is gonna be blended to make like a creamy. Okay. For this part, for the potato yeah. part? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Christy. I don't know. I don't know why it's faster than me. And then, um, oh, look at that. There's more sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Three more tablespoons? Yes. Okay. I hope the person I'm donating these meals to likes like so spice. much. Like spice. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do a little less for this just in case. That's a good idea. Yeah, just to be safe. Yes. Oh, is that in here? That's this. I think it's already in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
So then that's it. So we can zip up this bag here. Take the air out. Kind of mix up all the ingredients. Jen, can you see my big mess over here that I made? <laughs> it looks like Thanksgiving dinner over here. Okay. Well, one mess. One pack. Well, I was just going to say, but you're, but then you're done. Yes. You're not going to make a mess. Yes. No. Exactly. And yeah. if we weren't recording this, I would be doubling everything. That's right. what I do. I just double. And again, I just leave it in the freezer, um, and we cook it up in a couple weeks. So you know, if I'm going to make a mess in my kitchen, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No, you're fine. And then we're gonna use cashews. Okay. So these. Oh, and do you want to talk about the tip with the cashews? Go ahead. Um, <laughs> how it's a lot cheaper to buy the cashew pieces versus whole cashews. Mm -hmm. We save a lot of money doing it that mm -hmm. way. Yeah, a lot of money. And you say two or three dollars. Two to three dollars a pound. Yeah, yeah two to three dollars a pound. Mm -hmm. And I love the prices at Trader Joe's for their nuts. Mm -hmm. They they have great prices. They do. They do. That's actually, I'm glad you brought up Trader Joe's. That's another downloadable that we have on our website. You can download, I have a list of 115 items you can buy at Trader Joe's that are healthy and inexpensive. So if you want, it, want that, head over to the website and I'll link that as well after the live is over. If, okay, so here's the thing. Here's another tip for you because I have a lot of clients that have allergies to cashews. Mm -hmm. So with this recipe and any of our recipes, you can swap out raw pumpkin seeds for any of my recipes that call for cashews. I don't have a whole lot that call for cashews, but the ones that I do, you can easily swap out raw um, pumpkin seeds. And those are raw cashews. They're not soft. Yes, they do. Yes. Because that would really change the flavor. So yes. you always want to use raw. I love cashews. They're great for plant-based cooking because it gives stuff like a creamy, yes, um, creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, and then everything that should do it for this one, and then we can just put these right inside. Everything goes right into the back because again, you can freeze your uh, nuts or your seeds. are great northern beans. Yes, yes, thank you. And that is it. That's it. We just prep three meals. Yeah. All of the meals will feed four to six people generously. Um, mm -hmm. Some meals even more than that, but we just we like to keep it at four to six meals. So um, if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer. Jen, have I missed any questions at all along the way? Please suggest, you know, all the fabulous you can tell. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, with the meals, I always recommend that you eat a soup and some fresh fruit, excuse me, soup, a salad. A, salad. a salad and fresh fruit, because it's just another great way to get more plants in your diet, and that's what this is all about. This is really just trying to teach you how to get more plants in your diet. Um, it's one of the easiest things that you can do to help your health, to help your family's health, is just including more plants. So along with these meals, you can, like I said, you can just add a fresh salad and some fruit. We do that all the time. We do that with most of our, most of our dinners. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if, um, if I've touched on everything. Uh, a couple of downloads, and I'll make sure that I include the link for those. If you guys have any questions, if you watch this on the replay or you think of any questions, just post them on there. I am happy to hop on there and answer your questions for you. Um, if you live local to Richmond, come do one of our meal prep workshops. We take care of all of the grocery shopping, the cleanup. It is so easy. You just come in, you do some chopping, some dicing, some slicing, you make up your freezer bags, and you go home. You come with a friend, bring some wine with you, make it an evening out, so this way you're getting those healthy meals in your freezer. Um, we have clients that come every single month. If you can't make it to mine, we've got local coaches um, who are certified who can also offer the classes. So just check on our website. We have a coach tab at the top of it, and you can click on that, and you can see coaches in our area. If you do not live local to Richmond and you want to meal prep every month with us, we have a membership program that will be opening up again in March. And you can receive recipes and prep instructions and a whole lot more, but that's also on our website. I will post a link for that. Um, and if you don't want to 
um, prep our meals or come to our uh, events, that is perfectly fine. Just prep your own meals. Um, really the best thing you can do for your health is to get back in the kitchen, cooking your own food, and meal prepping is gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money. So even if you don't use our recipes, that's fine. I just wanna see everybody eating healthier food. So um, yes. that's really what it's, what it's about, is getting back in your kitchen. And again, you can easily add meat to a lot of these recipes, even though they are plant-based. Very easy to do. I always give suggestions um, to the people who come to our workshops and um, also in our private membership group. Um, but I think that's I think that's pretty much it. I think we've kind of touched on everything. So we um, thank you so much, everybody, for spending your time with us this morning. We really appreciate it. We are going to try to do this. I'm hoping in a couple weeks we're going to do another one with some new recipes. So if you live local to Richmond and you would like to be standing where Christy is standing, <laughs> we would love to have you. And if you don't, then I'm going to invite Christy back again. So. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having me. It. This and was we, fun. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties with our tech people today. So we are doing this on the fly um, with my iPhone. So I have to also play tech person. So I have to go turn off okay. the live. So okay. yeah, but thank you so much for thank coming. You. So I'm going to okay. turn off the live okay. video. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining, everybody. Yes.